Innovation Foundation Hop Orange will create an inspirational area at the show entrance of FIF Europe from the 31st of May to the 2nd of June. Visitors to FIF Europe will find many innovative concepts waiting to be discovered and replicated all over Europe and the world. The farmers and entrepreneurs that are critical in driving the industry forward showcase their concepts in a series of Poultry World videos. Now, I'm uh, Nout Janssen, uh, one of the founders of uh, Hub Orange. One of the concepts we developed is, uh, is a circular concept and we call it the round egg. And the round egg is a concept where we looked how we can work on, uh, on protein transition. We get in contact with, uh, with Jason Kim. Jason Kim is, uh, is uh, owner of uh, Feedback Farm. And he uh, is working with flies who are producing uh, larves which we can use as a protein. Yeah, my name is Jason. Um, I'm part of uh, Feedback Farm. And Feedback Farm is part of the circular egg. Uh, concept and that's what we're going to promote uh, at Fifth Europe. At this moment we grow insects on uh, waste streams from the food and agri industry. Uh, unfortunately we are not allowed to um, feed our insects on real waste. We still have to deal with waste streams which is also available for the pig industry and the chicken industry. Um, but nevertheless we see a huge opportunity to really make uh, agriculture circular by insects and that's the reason why we take part in Circular Egg. In our project, um, we're going to use the kitchen waste, um, but not really the kitchen waste directly, but first we will have to compost the kitchen waste and to make it available for the, for the insects. Um, that will be uh, our feed-in uh, for the insects. At this moment we are um, using cookie waste, uh, pelletized cookies. We use uh, bread meal, we use uh, potato um, peels, and that is the, where we start with. Uh, the first step is um, to feed the, the live larvae to, to, to poultry because it makes it easier, we don't have to process the larvae. But you also could uh, process the larvae into insect meal and then you have like an, an high quality protein and you can easily replace the fish meal but also in the end, in the later stage, you can replace the soya uh, in the feed of the chicken. That will be the end goal. Yeah, so um, from a sustainability perspective, um, you see that there are like a lot of transport movements over the world to get your feed to the Netherlands. And we also have like a lot of waste streams. And if we can use those waste streams to feed the chickens uh, or why insects, we can really reduce the climate miles. And that will be a huge benefit that it will, you, you don't have to deforestize the, the, the Amazon region. Um, of course, also fish meal is a big issue because there's depletion in the ocean. Um, so you want to prevent that. By using um, uh, regional uh, proteins like insects, um, you don't have to import um, yeah, unsustainable uh, ingredients or resources. That will be the huge benefit from a sustainability perspective. Um, but also from an additional value, you see, the, uh, you see uh, huge benefits. So if you feed them a live larvae, you see the chicken, they will behave in a more natural way and that will have uh, positive consequences on the health. So. Well, as I already told, uh, uh, Jason Kim is, uh, is involved, but we also found a food service company and a food service company uh, who wants to be sustainable and is uh, looking for an, uh, an, an upcycle for his uh, waste product. What we do in this project is the insects from Jason Kim are eating the, uh, the waste uh, of the food service. They are producing larves we feed those larves to the chicken and they are producing eggs. So we also need a farmer with, uh, with chickens uh, uh, working together in this uh, project. A circular project uh, uh, round egg, you're not doing that alone, you're doing that together with partners. Those partners are already working together. They're producing eggs, they're selling eggs. Uh, and, and we are just working hard on also to produce uh, uh, larves. The planning is that in September we can fed the first larves to the chickens. So uh, one week later we can introduce the round egg in the market.